Well, we are back. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. And we are going to listen to Natsuki's poem. Well, kind Maybe. of. We're going to hear about it in abstract. Ready, let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are, all, why are you all looking at me? That's a weird name for a poem. It's because you're presenting. Huh. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her soul... Sour. Sour. <laughs> sour. sour. Her soul... <laughs> her sour attitude disappears a little. While she, while she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's not Suki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. They have very good imagery, just like yeah. <laughs> describing, even just like describing how someone read something. I'm just like. Hmm. Like you can actually almost like just picture how it is. It's pretty good. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, well, I'm going to make you do it a lot. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite the poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be the way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you will all have an idea of what it's going to be like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. Should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all of this effort for the club. Yeah, this is like what our second day, and she's like, "Oh, guess what? You're gonna stand in front of a bunch of people and recite a poem." I think it's our third day. It's our first day there was muffins, cupcakes. True. Second. Then no? we read a poem, and then we read a second poem. This will be our third day. Maybe. That makes me really happy. Terrible. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. No problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, so let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue at that. As for the festival, we have finished pr we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have all weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Minoka, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Manoka, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Siri? Oh wait, that's uh... <laughs> that's me. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was just making fun of you, Siri. How's it feel? <laughs> Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? 
These guys? Who makes such a big deal out of it? It must be a little nice, though. Well... Uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Kiki-chan. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sor Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, I'm Sayori. Sorry, I was just spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... Sorry, fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> uh... I would walk home with Yuri. Yep. Oh, I'm, over here. I'm like, that's sad still, though. I mean, she could walk up with us. Like, it doesn't have to be one person. True, true. We don't have a one-person sidewalk. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't... Oh, that's you. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Aha! <laughs> you admitted it! Jeez. There's not even a point in... Speculating. Speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sayori? I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is diff- oh, Everyone is different. <laughs> Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Oh, she stopped blushing. Huh. If you say so. Conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take it away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what'll happen in that time? Hey, we're back to doing a poem. Okay, so okay. what were we doing before? Picking two and then the other person picks two? Yeah, I guess. You like to start? Yep, sure. To disorient an eternity. <laughs> I wanted to see who would jump for socks. Socks? <laughs> Um, melancholy. These are just the same words. They kind of seem like they are. A lot of them are. What the hell is moment? Jump for it, whatever the hell it is. Uh, graveyard. And secretive. Um... Vivacious. Vivacious. Yeah, that one worked. I was like, it sounds like it would be a good one. Extraordinary. Okay, never mind. Misfortune. God, I don't understand her. Uh... Nibble. Do nibble. Yeah. 
unrestrained. Away! <laughs> and I know that death is going to be fucking Sayori. So. Judgment? Three? Incapable? Bye, Max. I'm on it. You're on it. I was looking at everything else. Uh. Existence. Um... Incongruent. Yeah, incongruent. Agonizing? Uh... Alone. And... Page. <laughs> you know what would be really cool? And if, like, while we're picking words, they just, like, at the top of the screen so we could just read them all in a sentence. I really wanted it to be, like, a fill in the blanks. <laughs> like, those, those one thing. I get what you're called. saying. I don't remember what they're called. I wish it was like that. Oh, man! I'm the last one here, again! Don't worry, I just walked in, too. Are you practicing piano again? Uh, yeah. Uh, ha, ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking a piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're willing to help out for the festival, too! Uh, I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Totsuki? Well, yeah! I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat and all kinds of delicious food. You sound... No. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Uh, this is firing squad. <laughs> Minoka, <laughs> do they usually have fired squid? Right? You fucked me up, man. <laughs> do they usually have a firing squad? That would be awesome. Yep, that too. Uh, squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean, you people? That's fucking racist, man. Because! It's right in your name! Mon... Ika... Eh? That's not how you say my name at all! Neither's how we say it, but... <laughs> also, that joke makes no sense in translation! Aha! Never mind! <laughs> Good one. Aha! Um, play on the characteristics the characters from a different language and then just like, that makes no sense in translation. Uh, let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh... <laughs> Sorry! Don't mind me! 
You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Everything alright? Uh, of course! Why wouldn't it be? This feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone else. Well, alright. You say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. The conversation has already disappeared with everyone Dis back... Dispersed. Dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Minoka if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Minoka, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Oh, Gigi chan what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? He's sitting on floor. Maybe I'm reading into a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Minoka peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser down, up and down her desk. Uh, maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Kiki-chan. Alright, well... We're out of time for this episode. We'll be back in the next one to figure out what's going on with Sayori, hopefully. Yeah! Because that's weird. That she's all... Melancholy. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Yeah. We'll be back. Bye!